Hello my crafty friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel, this is Sherry, and I'm here to do a flip through of the summer, fruity, fruity summer journal, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's turned out super cute and it was super fun to make. And uh, so this is the cover in case you haven't seen it. And let's see, I think one of my charms might have came off. We'll put it back in when we when we get to the paper clip that was hanging on. But uh, I wanted to show you the front. It says "Enjoy the now," and I have a little sunshine, a little sun, sunshine. It says on the sun, and it turned into it was going to be a lemon journal, and it turned into a fruity journal because I used this paper. Um, just I fell in love with this paper and had to use it. So anyway, my next journal will be the lemon journal. <laughs> so uh, you will see a lemon journal after this. I'll be working on that. But uh, this is the tassel that we made together in my globalland.com demonstration. In case you haven't seen that or in case I haven't published it yet, <laughs> you will see this. And here's the back. It matches the front. And I've got two eyelets here for the closure. You can see all the paper clips in the side. It has a lot of pom-pom and charms. I've got a couple of inches here that are charms as charms. So uh, you can close this two ways. I have elastic here and it goes, it's tied here so it's not going to come off unless you untie it. And it, then I just put the strings through the bottom of this eyelet and then tie a bow right here. Or you can just put like, I mean you can probably invent it several ways to tie this but you could put one elastic through and then wrap the other one, let me not tangle them up, wrap the other one around the back and let me get the front one and do it like this so you've got one coming around the back one in the front and then tie it something like this too if you wanted your little whatever wherever you tie it off to be like say over here you could do it like that so it has options and just I just tie a bow and there you go. So let's um, pop. The uh, tassel is removable. So anyway, you open up and let's. this is the goodies that I will show you. These are things I actually got out to possibly put inside the journal, but I felt like it was beginning to get too uh, thick. So I just left them out and put them in a little goodie pack for you. Lots of fun uh, vintage items there that I've collected. So this is a little sunshine charm that it just, I think it just came off the paper clip. It's a little plastic charm. I found these at a thrift store one time and I've got two of them in here. This one's the sun. <laughs> it's so cute, but I'll put it, it just kind of, it has a little opening in the loop here and it just hangs on the paper clip. So super cute. Anyway, here's the inside of the front cover. We have two signatures, and by the way, I mean all the measurements and the pages will be in the listing when I when you see this video. It will be in my shop, but it's five and a half inches wide. It's a hard back cover book that I made this front with in an old old book that I repurposed, eight and one quarter inches tall. So not too big, not too small. We've got pretty colors in here too, all nice and shite, shiny, not shiny, but you know, happy and bright and pretty. Uh, anyway, a pocket here that says Hello Summer. So I added quite a few things since the last uh, video where we did some, put some ephemera in and uh, I was going to do some more on video, but I just ended up finishing it. So uh, you saw, if you did, I'm going to do it as if you, you haven't seen anything because maybe there's someone watching this that hasn't seen any of my videos working on this. So we've got, well, a little drawing card here. Super cute. And um, I didn't put anything on the back of these because I don't know how you're going to use them. If you wanted to make writing space, you can put paper here. Or if you're going to glue it down, then there's no sense in me putting paper there. Like, that would look super cute right there or right there. You know, you know, I don't know how you're going to use these. But anyway, you get the idea. It's a cute little drawing card. I did add this little, I added a few puffy stickers in here that I found with some fruit. Remember the last video when I ended? I said I'm going to go through my stash and look for for some fruity things. So I did find a few things, and that's when I pulled out all this vintage ephemera that I thought I was going to stick in here, but I ran out of room. <laughs> so um, I've got a puffy little watermelon sticker there, 
this little library card we decorated together. Super cute. Nice writing space there. So those are there. I used some pretty scrapbook papers in here, as you can see. And I've got a pocket here with some rickrack and two drawing cards. This one we decorated together with a little ice cream. Uh, I'm going to call it a bike, ice cream bike. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's a little ice cream um, thing there. And a little. And then this is a drawing card I made out of scrapbook paper. This is the paper that's on the front too, which I loved. So that's why that, that how this journal happened. I just love that paper with that pink and white gingham in the background and the fruit. Uh, this is some stationery. Everything here is from like the thrift store or your scrapbook paper. Most of my scrapbook paper is new, but some of it's from the thrift store too. But no digitals or printables in here. So this is some music, vintage music. Uh, most of the papers, the random papers I put in here are vintage. So this is one of my little twinchies here that I use as a charm on this page. Uh, vintage paper here with a little tab uh, that says Happy Days. I did clip in all my paper tip clips that I have here that I showed you at the beginning are decorated with some pretty ribbons. And then I clipped in, what's clipped in is mostly papers that you can use for putting wherever you want, cutting up, doing whatever you want with, writing on, making writing spots, whatever you want. But anyway, here I put several pieces under this paper clip. We've got orange and blue, purple green and yellow so all the pretty colors there this is the pocket I made with some scrapbook paper and this plasticized scrapbook paper that I got at a thrift store really cool and in this pocket I have two um, you know larger type journaling cards that one is a real pretty be happy be bright be you and this one says love this and then I did find this uh, apple, whirl, mallow apple. So that's fruity, right? <laughs> a recipe card, a uh, vintage recipe card from Betty Crocker. Uh, is there a year on here? 1975. And that washi tape that we made together, I was putting it on this little playing card that I had made into a spool. It did kind of, remember I said it was sticky and it did kind of dry dry out like I left it out here to see if it would be unsticky and it's not sticky anymore so I don't know I just kind of like had to uh, I, I think it was sticky from being wrapped up and then when I unwrapped it and let it sit out on its own the stickiness went away so then I stuck it in here so you've got some it's got cherries on it so that's why I put it in here it's fruity so that is in that pocket and just one second Okay, so uh, on to the next page. Uh, we've got a flip out of some vintage paper here. Just all these random papers like this are from the thrift stores that I've collected. Just fun papers to write on and do whatever you want on. But I've got a little tab here made from a piece of ephemera. Live in the moment. Pretty scrapbook papers. And we put these trims on together in one of the videos. So here's a pretty uh, lace and ribbon trim uh, paper uh, from a coloring book that you can color or do whatever you want on. And this is a cool ledger paper that I have. This this shape, this um, kind of long, narrow uh, ledger paper, really cool and pretty scrapbook paper here. This is the center of the first signature. I have a little tab here that says, Sweet Summer, I've been waiting for a long time for you. <laughs> And uh, on the strings, I have some pretty charms in the middle of each signature. This one has a pineapple and a cherry charm. Oh, here's the way the little sun came off. So here's a paper clip here. And there's a little divide here in the hook. So you, if it's, you know, you can move it around, do whatever you want with it, but it does just kind of um, hook onto the paper clip like that. So it, it probably will fall off easily. I'll try to put it together. Like push it together so it doesn't fall off but and I'll try to make this tight let me push it tight against the paper so maybe it'll keep it on there because <laughs> it is supposed to be some type of charm I know I went to the thrift store one time and they had a bunch of those so I have quite a few of those they had more there I didn't get them all <laughs> believe me there was a lot there so anyway back half of the first signature so you'll be seeing the same papers you saw in the front half 
Just some of them are decorated a little different. Here's a tab here. Hello, Summer. I'm going to have some other little words there. Um, that pretty that neat uh, paper, vintage paper. Oh, what a beautiful day on that one. Here's the other part of that pocket, the back half. And here I have another. This one is a recipe for banana pops. It's called Banana Pop Slash Cherry Bananas. Don't know. <laughs> for easy handling. You know, here's all the, everything you need to make these. It's two separate recipes. Here, Banana Pops and Cherry Bananas. Uh, I would imagine it's probably really, oh, here's, here we go. Here's uh, little pop, pop, like popsicles. And very cool. I bet those are really good. So you might want to make, if you're, if you're into that, if you're into making stuff like that, maybe you want to make, try those recipes. Uh, two really pretty uh, journaling cards. These are blank on the back. They have writing space on the front and the back. Life is beautiful and enjoy today. So those are also in that pocket. That is sewn together, that pocket, by the way, in case you can see it where I showed it to you originally. A pretty ribbon here and some more random vintage paper, piano paper, and uh, just uh, some paper here that you can use for writing. Um, you know, I sometimes I find these just plain little notebooks with paper on them, you know, old paper that I get, you know. I don't pick up too many of them, but I have a few that I have picked up in the past, and so they're just, you know, nice writing paper. Um, this was the stationery that I showed you in the front half. This is the bottom half of it, and I add a little puffy sticker here. It's a couple little cherries, and uh, the Last page of this first signature hat, we have a pocket here with some rickrack on it. And in here, we put a little booklet. And so this is a little, this had fruit on it, so that's why I put it in here. It can go either way. This can be the front or this could be the front. But anyway, it has pears and apples on it. And some little papers you can write on. It's set together here on the side. And then this is a little... This had some grapes and apple on it. So a little piece, I think, from a recipe book that I had made into a journaling card. And this little popcorn uh, journaling card. There's a popcorn bag in the second half, you will see. So I thought it would be fun to have a little popcorn journaling card. So here's the start of the second signature. On the pages that start and end the signature, that's where I have the pom-pom trim. And then here's a pocket here, also with Rick Rack. And in here I have one of these keys that I have been putting in my journals lately until they're gone. I have a few more. And then a little drawing card. This is wallpaper and this is a receipt and nice writing room there. And this is an envelope. We put this in here together and decorated it with this little sticker. Sunshine kisses and summer wishes. So it's just a little envelope that I had made and we put in here, let's see, oh, we put some little bits of ephemera in here. Uh, quite a few that you can use to decorate things and have fun with. So we put those little bits in here when we were working on ephemera here on, oh, oh did I get them all? Yeah, I did. But those are in that envelope for someone, whoever. Like I said, this will, unless it's sold at the moment, um, it will be in my shop when you see this video. Here's a, just some fun paper, again, fun vintage paper with a little tab on it there. All you need is ice cream to make your day, of course. <laughs> and I love the patina on here, so I didn't put anything on here except for a little puffy sticker, a watermelon, pretty scrapbook paper here with a little uh, piece of ephemera that I put on here. Hello, sweet summertime. And in here we have another little booklet. And this is a little frame we put on here together, and we left it open at the top. So you can put something, slide something down into there, and it's a little booklet with pages that you can write in. So several pages in there. And that is sewn together too in the middle there. And then a little uh, card. We added this little piece of ephemera here and that's the journaling space. And these can always be glued down somewhere too if you want it or make it even make it into a tuck spot, whatever you want to do. And then this little folder where we added this piece of ephemera. Summertime is the best time. Journaling space inside. And so uh, next is just a piece of vintage paper. And I add a little pear sticker right there. Some little fruit sticker I found. 
And here's a guest check clipped onto this page uh, with another one of my inchies here as a charm. Let me push that paper clip in a little bit. And that's some vintage piano paper. And it's pretty scrapbook paper here. And oops, oh no, that's not two pages. That's, that's a bridge score sheet I clipped onto this. And there's some ribbon that we've put on the back of this paper here as a decoration. Here's the pocket, uh, it, which is a popcorn bag, paper bag in this signature. And in here, several things. You can fill a lot in this bag. It really opens up. But I have the envelope that is made from a, a piece of a page from a 1940s yearbook. And in here, I have a little piece of ephemera. What a lovely day for a picnic. <laughs> I have to say it like that because, you know, I watched Yogi Bear when I was a kid. So, you know. I'm brainwashed <laughs> to say picnic like that, like Yogi Bear. So, um, a little pocket. This is like a little library pocket. I believe I got this in Happy Mail. Gather Happy Memory. So I put that in there to use as you wish. A little writing spot here, a drilling spot. And a roll of index cards. I make these, so I try to include them with my journals as... You know, you can put these down as little pockets, write on them, decorate them, whatever you want to do. Um, fun paper here with a little tab. It's a fold out. Hello, summer days. Little short piece here that's a fold out. Another fold out here. Best summer ever. And in the middle is this signature where we have ladybugs and the charms here on these strings are an apple and a glass of lemonade. And then on here is clipped the other charm, which is a ladybug also. So we've got the <laughs> two, you know, it goes together. And then I clipped a piece of red and white paper. Well, it's white with red lines on this paper. It goes so well here, I thought I'd just clip it right there. On this paper, I have a little puppy sticker that is, uh, I think it's a lime. So I'm calling it a lime. And then the next fun paper here, fun vintage paper with a little piece of ephemera. Uh, it looks like a postage stamp, it's really cute. The paper bag on this back half, now I put several stickers in this in this part of the paper bag, this back half pocket here. And so they have to do with summer and things like that, so I thought it would be fun to have, like for grilling and cooking out, maybe you have a little, a uh, few pages you wanna write about a cookout you went to. So I've got a spatula and spoon here. These are all stickers. A little fork, uh, like wooden spoon, an actual grill, <laughs> That's cute, right? A watermelon, and an apron. So I thought those were fun. Found those in my stash. And then this is a fold out. It's a beautiful day. Little tab there, and with a belly band, soak up the sun. And in here, I have tucked. Let me see if I got everything out. So I've got a little grape. This was in a little notebook. See, they were cinched together here. And uh, I don't know what it was meant to be, but anyway, I took it apart and used it as drilling cards. So we've got grapes. We've got a plain green one. So you can decorate this and write on it and do whatever you want with it, but you can just have some fun with that. And then a plain card with fruit on it. Uh, oh, oh yeah, this was... this. I already, made, I already had this made in my stash, but it's a playing card that I had put together with some washi tape, and you can add pages or whatever you want, but it's like a little booklet, like a book cover. So you can just add paper to the inside and write on the inside, or you can add like pages or whatever you want. So it's just a fun thing. So, uh, yeah, that's a flip out. And then the next page is the music paper in this signature. And I have a writing paper. This is like little writing paper that I took from a notebook that I have clipped on there. It's just some fun paper there. Pocket here that says summertime memories with a ticket, a large ticket ephemera. This is some stickers that you can use. Um, you just peel them off and stick them down. They little, have little lines on them. I think they're really cool. So you can peel them off and stick them down for writing spots somewhere and then a tag here. Fun tag. You can write on the back of that tab here that says Slice of Summer, and there's a watermelon on there. Uh, this is some nice vintage paper here. This one looks like a mimeograph, 
and then this the paper I have clipped onto it also some writing paper with a little light bulb and purple line so that's fun paper and a pocket here this is the last page of this second signature and last signature with this nice drawing card here made from the paper that's on the outside and then the back pocket here with this journaling card with the uh, popsicle okay so the, by this time the journal was getting quite chunky <laughs> so that's why I left everything else out oops my now this time my ladybug fell off but I'll put that back in a, in a minute after the video probably but let me show you real quick what's in the goodie pack here so let me just see if I can grab it yeah these are all the things I kind of wanted to put in here but I didn't get to so whoops the ladybug stuck to me <laughs> It likes me. So this is a little coin envelope. Of course, you can use that for whatever you want. And then here I have some postage stamps. There's some vintage postage stamps. There's a pretty one. I don't know what's on there, but oh, it's it's uh, Bugs Bunny maybe, or I think it's Bugs Bunny. <laughs> That's cute. A little Bugs Bunny stamp, isn't it nice? And then some other stamps. You know, I saved them from the mail and I've bought some at thrift stores and things like that so those are all in there they kind of almost don't fit in there so I have them sticking out like that a little bit here's another one a flag stamp here's a little uh, piece of ephemera it says c'est la vie you know in, in French this is a cigar uh, wrapper so those that's all in that little coin envelope I have two vocabulary cards these are fun to decorate make into journaling cards so two of those for you a little label I found this is actually a sticker you can peel off the back and it has fruit on it so I thought you would someone would enjoy that it's like supposed to be a little like canning label but I always just use them as drilling spots a little this is from Candyland I believe a little game card and this is a fun little isn't this cute I just I had to put this in here because it's just so adorable it's a little tally card it's a vintage tally card. So adorable. It has this little bird. Little flowers with a little bird house and a little blue bird there singing. So cute, right? <laughs> That's so adorable. And this is a little uh, sticky note. It's got a little bit of sticky left on it, but it's a tomato or an apple. Whatever you want it to be. That's what it is. <laughs> and a uh, paper coaster. And this is a little drawing card I found in my stash of this guy grilling when I you know I put that grill in there the sticker so I figured you know summertime type stuff along with my fruity stuff so uh, yeah a guy relaxing by while he's watching his chicken on the rotisserie grill there so quite fun <laughs> this is another uh, post-it note here routing request so a nice little writing spot and this is a blue Rolodex card this is like three by five pretty much and I'm just stick. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on there, so it can stay put and not get messed up. And then you can pull it off and do whatever you want with it. These are some scraps that I had cut into journaling spots or whatever. You can cut them up and do whatever you want with them. But I rounded all the corners, so that's a pretty blue one. Uh, this is just one piece of double-sided scrapbook paper, and these are single-sided scrapbook papers. So these are just little scraps that you can use. This has apples on it, so I put this in here. A little homework or no homework paper. Cute little coupon from the teacher. This is a calendar page. Just a fun vintage 1985 calendar page. Vintage receipts. I've got uh, two, I think, two copies. The yellow and this. This came from the same little receipt pad that I recently picked up. Feels like It feels thick, but it's just one, one piece there. But anyway both copies that you would uh, you know I guess you write and maybe it had carbon paper oh it has does have another copy that's why it's so thick hold on this has got to be another copy here but I'll leave them both in here this one was just stuck so you got two yellows and one white there so those are fun to use for writing spots or to cut them up or tear them up and use in a to collage or make a you know combine them when in a tag or whatever they're really they look really neat because they're vintage and they just it comes out really nice looking and this is a special thing I put in here for whoever gets this 1917 Salter Canning Company I don't know if I've used any of these yet but I got them from a flea market 
and I showed it to you one of my thrifty Thursdays, and I told you the guy wanted to charge me an arm and a leg, but he finally gave me a good deal on a few things. So he had tons and tons and tons of stuff that I could have bought, but it was all too expensive. He was charged just charging too much for it, as far as I was concerned, anyway. So anyway, I only got a couple things from him, but this is one of the things. A little check here from 1917. So really cool piece of ephemera. I put a couple of note papers in here that were would be fun. I thought guest list and it says menu down here. So two of those. This one says let's get cooking and it has you know the fork and knife up there and down here some salt and pepper and other you know utensils and the lines and stuff. So a couple of those. And also this was from that same guy at the flea market with all the expensive stuff and I managed to get a bargain on a couple things. <laughs> but they still weren't cheap, believe me. But anyway, I put one in here, one of these tomato canning labels. And so you get, you know, they were never used. So you get the front part here, which is really cool. They don't have any kind of date on them, but they're they're old. And then here's the back part with a recipe on it. Scalloped tomatoes. <laughs> Ever tried that but it might be good so anyway those all will be coming along with this journal some special fun things so uh, I hope you enjoyed this fruity journal stay tuned for the lemon journal that's gonna be fabric covered so it's not gonna be a hardback it's gonna be fabric covered because that's was that was my plan with this one and then I went off into a different direction that's just how it is sometimes you're led astray by your scrapbook paper <laughs> So that's what happened, and uh, so next time I'm going to focus. I'm really going to focus, and I'm going to do the lemon journal this time, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you then. Have a great day.